welcome back to Taz's Week Closet at Week Studio One. Today I just want to kind of chill, relax, I'll give you a quick channel update and show you some new stuff coming up. So many of you know that I do partner with Julia, uh, which is an affordable artisan jewelry company, and they have sent me things from time to time. So I have some new Julia pieces to show you today that I'm really excited about. So I've always been impressed with Julia. Uh, their pieces seem to be very affordable, yet sturdy and appropriate for everyday wear, and they have some really cute, unique, one-of-a-kind designs. So I especially love Julia's rings. Recently, I think I showed you the wedding set that, um, and I've reviewed this one before. It's a three-piece nested wedding set. Just gorgeous their stones are always so clear and brilliant so the next thing I want to show you is a new ring that they sent me so this is the pink heart cut synthetic morganite sterling silver ring set um, there's two pieces there so there's the part with the heart and then there is the a white diamond stone band underneath they nest together Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. It's a, a brilliant stone. It's just as clear as it could be, and you see here how it picks up the light, and it goes with so well with all of my summer things. I'm really a big fan of pink. So in addition to partnering with Julia on my channel, I am a rep with Julia. Uh, so you'll find the rep link below in the description box. If you expand the description box, you'll see all of the links. There'll be a link to uh, the products that I'm going to show you today, um, as well as access to uh, my promo code, which, which will get you 15% off of your order. I think they did really well with this necklace, kind of pairing it with the ring. This is not a set, um, but I think that it works very well together. Uh, this is called their Knot of Love Pendant Necklace. It's a beautiful Julia white diamond stone center, and that's a substantial stone there pretty big and then around it is a halo of white diamonds kind of a twist pattern on a halo and then it's kind of twined and ribboned with this rose gold so it's a beautiful pendant necklace it has a fine rose gold chain so this is a very fine chain as you can see and then that does end in a very tiny clasp and there's only one little eyelet that you have to kind of clasp it too there's not a variety and it's it's very tedious it's like threading a needle honestly I need help putting this on every single time so just be aware of that if you do live alone or if you have some sort of uh, eyesight or a physical handicap that would prevent you from clasping this necklace so the pink heart cut ring retails around hundred twenty five dollars and that's before any discounts are applied and then around eighty five dollars for the necklace really really beautiful set I love wearing my Julia jewelry so I definitely wanted to show you my new things today now in addition to that um, I've still been shopping online my husband and I went down to an outlet an outdoor outlet mall recently and the experience just wasn't the same it's just not time yet I think to get back in the stores they're just trying to wrap their arms around and adapt to some of these new restrictions that they have in terms of how many patrons they can have in the store at the same time and so forth. Uh, the first store we went to, um, and we were there opening, we had to wait 45 minutes just to get inside of the store because they were limiting the capacity. And then, you know, of course we had to wear masks when we were in there. And I don't know about you, but when I have a mask on, I mean, everything takes uh, getting used to, right? Just like when I first started to wear wigs. Um, it just takes some getting used to, but I always feel like when I have a mask on that I'm having a hard time having full range of, of sight, um, even though that's probably not true. I just feel like I can't really see everything and I get a little claustrophobic. So I just felt a little claustrophobic. All I wanted to do is get out of that store and into the open air and get some sun. Um, in the outdoor spaces, we did not, we did not have to wear a mask. Um, but they did encourage social distancing and so forth and so I understand all of it and I'm glad that we still have options that we can go do because so many of us oh we just really need to get out I'm a homebody by nature but I got to tell you when I want to go somewhere I want to go somewhere and uh, you know I'm respectful of myself and others in this situation but you really can't help some of that anxiety 
Um, I think we're kind of lucky too that here in the States, at least we are, uh, we are headed into summertime and so getting out in the open air just does a world of good for us. So I'm resorting to still online shopping and I ended up getting a few things from Kohl's this year. Really nowhere else I haven't ordered online because I trust Kohl's. A lot of times you don't know what you're going to get when you purchase clothing online in terms of sizing and quality. But I always know I can count on Kohl's. Some of the brands in Kohl's too I love. Like this top I just got. Um, it's the Lauren Conrad Peasant smocked kind of a top. It's a nice three quarter sleeve because the long sleeves on me are always way too long and the short sleeves, well, sometimes they're not cut right to be very flattering. So I really enjoy the three quarter sleeve. Lots of flowy, I just kind of tucked it in here. It's got a longer back, it kind of covers the bum a little. It's kind of scooped in the back, but it covers the bra straps really well. So I ended up with two pair of the Apartment 9 kind of cut off uh, jeans and they have some tummy control, which I need because of this quarantine 15 that is kind of hanging around. But um, I really, really like this pairing. Very, very cute and comfortable. So now just for a quick channel update. Now some of you have noticed that um, my videos look a little bit different in terms of definition and lighting and color. And that's because I purchased a brand new iPad Pro. And that camera is really good. I mean, I need to have multiple functionality in my devices. So I can't afford to have a camera and speaker, you know, and a microphone and, and all of this extra stuff so that I can edit and, and things like that. So I've got one iPad Pro that does it all. So the camera on that has what they call um, like true tone technology or something. So a lot of times what it, what it will do if there's low light in the room, depending on what's going on outside, like today it's super cloudy, so I'm depending on my studio lighting only. Um, but what it'll do is it will pick up and just make the colors and the definition of things look a little more crisp and a little more intense. And so typically that brings out the true colors and things. Although uh, when you have natural light coming through the window, you can get a little bit of extra brightness on the colors. I think everybody is aware of that. Lighting is something that is the bane of all reviewers' existence. It's never the same each and every time. Um, I have tried closing off all natural light and just going with studio lighting and that just washes it out. I'm constantly thinking about it. I'm constantly adapting to it. So if you have noticed a little bit of a difference in my videos, the crispness, the vividness of the color, that's just because of my new iPad. Now, if you have a concern about any of the colors that I'm showing you, my suggestion is that you would go out to other reviews and watch, watch similar colors. We're all gonna have a little bit of a different lighting scheme, right? So if you can kind of gather two or three specimens and get a good idea, that would be great. Anything's better than the swatches. Um, that they give you the little the little square digital swatches don't really tell you how what's the overall effect of the color I still really think that wig reviews are the best thing we have to decide if the color or the style is going to work for you but like I said I do encourage you to go out and check out some other reviews so the way the way the video comes across to you can can depend on uh, whether you're on a mobile device whether you're on a laptop a desktop computer it can depend on your just your own monitor that you're using and so forth so be aware that there's a lot lot there's a lot still lost in translation from what is actually going on here to the time it gets to you so a couple more things regarding my channel that may help I'm starting to get a lot of questions that they ask me Taz I'm not real tech savvy and I'm not sure where to find the links to these products that you talk about uh, below each of the, the YouTube videos, there is a description box. We can put up to 5,000 5, characters in that description box. <clears throat> Depending on what device you are using, you may have to expand that description box in order to see everything. Uh, the description, the links, and all the things that I talk about are listed below each video. So especially if you're on your mobile phone, you're gonna to have to click the little arrow directly um, where it says uh, description or comments or something. You'll have to click that arrow to expand 
that description box so that you can get all of the information. I think it's a little easier on, um, on a computer because right below it, it says read more and all you have to do is click on that read more and it expands that full description box. So if you're, if you're watching consistently on a mobile device, just make sure that you click that little arrow uh, where you see where you'll expand that description box. So hopefully that will help you navigate a little easier. So there's just a lot of, a lot of hate, a lot of anger out there right now. I think a lot of YouTubers might be experiencing this. You know, my channel has grown to the point where I have attracted a lot of subscribers outside of my uh, tight wig group. Um, and because of that, I think I'm getting a lot more of those troll type behavior, those, those what we call haters. And so I, I debated for the longest time on whether I should moderate my comments instead of just making it open and release it to everyone. I really, um, I really think I may have to start moderating comments. I don't want to shut it down. I don't want to discourage you from leaving comments because this is part of the community that we share. I think we can learn so much from each other. Um, however, I had one recently where I couldn't believe it. I went to bed at night, I got up in the morning, and there were four or five terrible, terrible comments on one of my videos, kind of bashing wig wears, bashing me. And I just cannot understand the psychology behind that. Um, of course, I removed them, all that I could see. And I, and I began moderating, co moderating comments on that one particular video. You know, a lot of times the reach of these videos goes, goes beyond our wig community here. And it just attracts angry people, like they're angry because you look good in a wig. Or they're angry because you have the, the courage and the fortitude to start doing something for yourself. And so by leaving a negative, nasty comment, I think it makes them feel a little better. Their insecurities run deep. And, you know, on top of that, we've been in isolation. And a lot of people just can't get out of their own minds. And so I do pray for them. I do, uh, I do have sympathy for that. I just don't want that on my channel. As you all know, I'm very adamant about it. I have lots of playlists already made for you depending on what you're, you look for. I have one called All Wig Reviews. That's all new wig reviews going into that particular playlist to keep you busy for days <laughs> if you decide to watch them all. Um, I have a playlist called New to Wigs. All the information as a new wig wear of the support, the encouragement, some technical stuff, a little bit of hacks, and just some things to give you encouragement so that you don't quit you keep trying um, to get your wigs just right for you because everybody has a different journey and a different experience. Um, wig tips and tricks, I have one of those and Taz's how to's. I have uh, the uh, playlists broken down by brand. You know, like right now I'm wearing my John Renault uh, January I got from a very lovely wig sister. Thank you so much, Cynthia. It's absolutely beautiful. We worked out a deal on this and I did some modification. Uh, typically those bangs come down to and past my chin, about eight and a half inches I think on this one without checking. Uh, but I trimmed that up to be about a six to six and a half inch fringe on either side. And I steamed in some lift right up here on top. So I really love, love, love the way this turned out. I'm just here to offer information in a presentation manner that I'm accustomed to that I also enjoy. I still do wig reviews, number one, to help people. Number two, I enjoy it. Number three, I have to make a living. All of those things together. So I'm really, really trying. I will always look to constantly improve. Um, improve for your experience. Improve for my experience too, because I get a lot of joy out of the creative part of doing these wig reviews. And then lastly, just kind of developing my income stream so that I can support my family. So thank you so much for subscribing to Taz's Wig Closet. I love you all. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.